Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, Candace has a dentist appointment early this morning. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull the orders that are going out today uh, so she can get out of here and I can go ahead and pack while she's gone. Yep. And then we have one um, one item that's in storage. So Lonnie's going to go grab that while I'm at my appointment. So let's get started pulling what we do have here. Um, first thing is a lot of racing stickers, A10. We're not going to be saying that much longer, are we? Nope. I mean, we do have a pretty good many of these A's, but other than that. Okay, these. Yep, a lot of a NHRA. Sold for $11.99. The next order has two items on it. First is 10 Echo, Echo. It's HP ink cartridges, seven of them. 10 Echo. Echo. There's a little box right here. I think this is them. I remember getting these now. The, um, oh, yeah, it's these. I don't know what they sold for because it's on an order with something else. Oh, okay. All right, next item on that order is a sealed D Link USB on five Fox Truck. There should be two, they only bought one. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's one of those little uh, USB Wi Fi adapters. Okay, so those two items together sold for $29.98. Next item going out on eBay is in the cube. It's a Coleman um, fluorescent bulb. There's two of them. They bought one. Yeah, these weren't bad. I oh. just picked those up a few weeks Yeah, we got those at a garage sale. Mm -hmm. Like a buck each. Yeah. Um, sold that for $14.99. That's a good sale. On Etsy, we have three items going out. Um, the first one is one of the... Um, Vatican Collection Angels 1A Gold. See, I may have to dig it out of here. Let's see. It's a big one. Okay. Um, why is it called gold? Oh, it's a big one. It might be over there then. It's the color of her. Uh, okay. Gown. Oh yeah, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that one on the other side. I'll be right back. All right, dug that guy out of there. That thing's a little bigger than I thought. Yep. Yeah, that one sold for eighty-one dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay. That we're definitely in well into the profit on that buy then. Oh yeah. Um, we have two nutcrackers going out. The first one's on uh, one Alpha. I don't think it's still there. It's uh, Opa with the sled that has issues. Yeah, he's over here. I think, is it this guy? Yes, that's it. It's this guy with the little weenie dog? Yeah. Well, his issues can't be, oh, he's it's missing a slat on his sled. There was some, I think maybe the dog is missing, no, something else. That's all for $49.99. Okay. Huh. And then the next nutcracker is um, the lion, the jungle king. It's a lion. It's on 10 Charlie, I believe. Yeah, I said, we just saw it the other day. It's just this guy, right? The lion? Yep. Man. He's cool, huh? Well, yeah, no, he's cool. But I'm just looking how few nutcrackers we have left. Oh, I know. I don't even know if we have 10 left. I know, it's crazy, huh? And well, we have one more. Well, we only have one boxed one left in storage. And that's going out today. I'm going to go get that after yeah. I finish packing all this stuff. And now Candace can get off to the dentist. Go. He sold for $159.99. See okay. you later. Okay, got all that stuff packed. And uh, also went to storage. Picked up a few boxes while I was there, too. We, we uh, keep unlisted inventory in storage as well as like... Um, I think I've got about 75 more of these 12, 12, 12s there. Um, I have some 12, 10, fours, eight, six, fours. Got a bunch of different boxes over there. I like to keep those. I like to put uh, excess boxes there 
and then replenish that the, the plan is to replenish that from um granger or wherever we happen to get those boxes so i'm not having to wait for the boxes to ship or even at granger even though i pick up local um most boxes they take two three days to get there they're getting them from somewhere else some stuff the paper i think they stock like this kind of paper so as soon as we order it it's ready to roll but yeah um i also picked up this nutcracker sale this is our last boxed nutcracker that we had left and this is well you can't really see it um let's see yeah that's alice from Alice in Wonderland. And this one sold for $159.99. And I was just looking. Um, we don't have very many Nutcrackers left, y'all. Look, this is the only, starting with, I think it was like 190, 96 or something like that we started with. And we're down to 12 left, which is awesome that's really that's right around where we wanted to be you can see i have them all on 25 percent off sale now um and they're not taking up much space anymore so uh the nutcracker the nutcracker buy we'll talk about it at another point where we do all the numbers and everything but the nutcracker buy um it went like very smooth it went according to plan. It was it was a a, a big buy. It was a six thousand dollar buy. Uh, that you know I was a little nervous about, but it they sold. Um, I don't I don't remember. I think we bought these in the spring, and our intent was to have the majority of them gone by the end of fourth quarter. And guess what? Here we are. Uh, near the end of fourth quarter and they're almost all gone so it went perfectly um like i said we'll we're gonna put all the numbers together and find out exactly how much money we made and we'll we'll let y'all know that but uh yeah what a success that was all right candace is back hey candace welcome back hey i'm back and we just went through we, we're gonna do a lot of inventory and i don't know when before the new year it ain't gonna happen today no. but check this out y'all this is so cool so satisfying i was talking about the nutcrackers earlier this is all the nutcrackers we have left there are a few non-nutcracker things obviously like the clown these buyers things but there are 13 nutcrackers here only 12 are listed because candace is keeping this one we just haven't put it anywhere yet and uh yeah look how look how awesome this is i was telling candace we had to make two trips in a full-size truck with a camper shell on it that was empty when we made the trips. And we put stuff in the back seat, too. Yeah, it took two trips to get everything. Two trips. And now we're down to one shelf. And now we're down to that shelf. That's perfect. When we, man, when we first started listing those things, I was like, my God, we aren't going to have anywhere to put our inventory. I know. <laughs> They're taking over the whole shed. Well, we did. We had to clear off some of our unlisted inventory shelving yeah yeah so, yeah we didn't really have the room for no it. we didn't and and remember we had i think it was this shelf right here this top shelf here that was completely consumed with the box nut crackers yep, to the, uh, rafters. all the way up yeah. and we eventually had to get more space and we had to move those out to storage and now the box ones are all i I, I know I'm, I'm belaboring this point, but it's kind of a big deal. It is, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> it's, it's it is it's very satisfying, is mm -hmm. what it is. We need to do the we need to do the numbers on them again, and uh, because there ain't no telling how long these the ones we have left are going to take to sell. Right. You know, so maybe yeah, we can print out a report. I think, huh? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it later. I don't know if it's going to be in this video or not. Right. I'm over here just trying to. Um, I'm trying to avoid editing, finishing editing this video right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. It finally happened. Those of y'all that have been complaining about my crack. <laughs> what you laughing what at? What you got there? Huh? <laughs> Nothing bad. We got, a, we got a, quite a few things going on here right now. Yeah, Lonnie got a back scratcher for Christmas. Yeah, I got a back. Well, it was funny. So, you see it's a back scratcher. I can't, I always, every now and then I'll get Candace to scratch my back. And 
we say we're going to get a back scratcher eventually. We always see like oh, and we these see him ones at garage sales and, and I'm I like, joke with him that I'm going to buy it for And him. I'm like, no, I am not. Like, I, there are some things I don't want to wear that are used that are used. Back scratcher would be one of them. And I don't like, I've got a weird thing. I don't mind wearing like used, I'll wear used pants. I don't like wearing... I don't like wearing used shoes. Mm -hmm. I don't like that's gross for me. That's yeah. just my hang up. Yeah, no, I get um, that. But any, where was I going with this? Oh, so Candace bought me a back, this little telescoping back scratcher for Christmas. And hey, hang on, take the tape off real quick. And it was funny when we were opening, it was in like a bag with some other stuff. And uh, <laughs> my mother was sitting next to me when I opened it. And <laughs> she's. She said, I'm like, oh, thanks, Candace. And I hadn't extended it yet. And my mother goes, oh, what you got? And I'm like, oh, well, this is a little rake. <laughs> I said, I said I'm, I'm, Candace, Candace knows I'm about to start um, a bonsai tree hobby. And you have to have a little rake for that. And she's like, oh, oh, really? I'm like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so anyway, this is a back scratcher. But where are we going with this? You might ask. Uh, okay. So I'm listing my hero, my hero clicks and I count them. I'm like, am I counting wrong? I counted them like three times. I'm missing one. So Lonnie said maybe one fell back there. And I'm like, surely I would have noticed, you know. Um, so he looked back there and y'all look what's back there. There it is. It's either empty packaging or it's one still in the package. There's a bunch of other crap back there too. From whenever we uh, pulled them all out yesterday. So we're going to use the back scratcher with some tape on it to try to retrieve this sucker. Aren't cell phones handy sometimes? I mean, yeah. look at that. Yeah. So, Candace has a little plan here. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is going to work. We're going to put this tape on here. You going to do it or you want me to do it? I don't, I'll try. Okay. There we go. Look at that. I feel like we're doing it. Grab it. Get it. Get it. Look. Oh, that's, man, that is so cool. Ah! No! <laughs> that is so cool. Uh-oh, I might need some it's fresh okay. tape. okay. You got it. You're good. You're good. Easy. Easy. Steady. Don't hit the edge. No, um, there is an edge there or something that it's catching. Can you reach it? No. It's not high enough yet. Hang on. Let's pull it out a bit. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Easy. Steady. Steady. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Okay. That was cool. Maybe this is the million dollar one that we did. Oh, I don't care what it is. I think it's cool that we found it and, and used the back scratcher with a thing of tape. It. Freaking MacGyver well, over we here. Well, we do have a missing battery back there. There's a battery back there, so too. So maybe we can get it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, there's probably, man, that might be a hundred dollar bill back there. We don't know. Oh, no. oh, another foot ninja. Nah. Oh, well, it was fun. Yeah. You could throw them in your lot, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two. Good morning, Candace. Hey, good morning. It's kind of chilly here in the shed this morning. Yeah, it's like, it got down to freezing last night. 32, from... like, just to freezing, yeah. But it's still... Yeah, it's got it's, a little chill in here. It's taking a little while to warm up. Yeah. Uh, it is two days before New Year's Eve, is that right? What is today? 29th. I've lost track of this week for some reason. Yeah, this the week between Christmas and New Year's is always... It's hard for me, too, when, like, when the kids are out of school, when Molly's out of school. Right. Because I get... And then we're not doing... We didn't go to garage sales this morning, so I'm just... Every day is the same. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's two days before New Year's Eve, so, um, yeah, after packing today, we'll be done till Tuesday oh there's no yeah nothing's gonna go well, well Monday. we probably will still we're pull, gonna pull orders over. we're gonna come in here and work new year's day some you're right oh yeah probably not the whole day or just kind of relaxing you know yeah I, we'll at least pull orders on new year's day because i don't like having that many stack up on me you're right for tuesday yeah. unless we just have are having horrible sales and it's not not urgent i hope that's not the case if i remember correctly it's usually pretty good i I don't remember. I think people are drinking and shopping, you know. Oh, is that what they're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're not drinking and shopping and returning, huh? They're making those regretful purchases, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, my New Year's resolution is to return everything I bought from uh, Shed Flips. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's scary, huh? It is. Um, so, yeah, we have 11 orders going out on eBay. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started pulling those. Let's go. 
first item is on five Charlie left. It's the Hero Clicks Turtles set. Uh, I did like a lot of 22 turtles. Five Charlie left. Yep. Man, we're every, oh, it's because I took all the Nutcrackers off of the shelf and that moved them. Empty, huh? Yeah, look at all this. It's like a nun and a mouse. Walk into a bar. A nun and a mouse walk into a bar. There you go. Oh, it's all these little things, huh? Yeah. Okay. Want to come grab some? Yeah. So my little plan worked out. We were going to list the whole box for 28. I listed one for 25 by itself and it sold. And then these sold for 25. Okay. So it worked out. I don't know why I'm still I don't know why either. I could have carried that last one. That's okay. Thank you. So I kind of just, I bagged them up like this and then taped it where they can't yeah, move. And then you can put some bubble or whatever around there. Yeah. All right, next item is um, five boxes of old stock splice clips. Yeah. They're on one Delta. Yeah, we got these from, uh, we got these in a buy we did from Kevin and Danielle. And I mentioned them a lot and I don't, always say who the heck they are yeah uh they are viewers that live local that were selling on ebay uh pretty heavy like and i think they sold on posh and macari too yeah um yeah they were resellers that decided to get out of the business yeah and they watched us and actually um i've been to I, I knew i knew kevin because i've been he had a he would have a garage sale years ago he would have a garage sale like once a month and it was always a great garage sale too i would always come back with good stuff you didn't know about it because no i wasn't with you here full time in the shed yet. right and i guess you usually went on friday the first day so i never went to it yeah but i i found as a matter of fact i have some like some if you go way back some footage on garage flips channel which isn't even called that anymore uh, I would film at Garage because I filmed at his sale a few times. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, they got out of the business. They contacted us. We bought a bunch of stuff from them. It was over like four buys, I think. Yeah. We, we spent buys. We spent thousands with them. Yeah. And um, we're still, I mean, the stuff was good. We've, we've made a lot of money off of it and we're still selling. Like we, the stuff move, is moving. Yeah. yeah, it's like it was all good stuff. Like they were really good pickers. They had they have a really good eye. You but know. but yeah, this was part of that stuff. I didn't. I wasn't sure it would ever sell, but I went ahead and listed it anyway. I initially listed these. Uh, I don't. There's some kind of connectors or something. You listed them for like twenty per box or something. twenty five per box is what I listed them for, and. Um, but that's probably that was months ago listen yeah. nobody had any interest so, uh, somebody made an offer of uh 75 for all five yeah and i took it of yeah, course sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah so all five is what we had sold for 75 dollars okay cc9 uh fontanini nativity ornament cc9 it's in the box christmas stuff still selling yeah. CC9, right? Oh, I see it. Can you help? Nope. I think I... Well, here. Why don't you just grab it? And I'll put this stuff back. Man. Okay. It appreciated in value. It sold it, for $24.99. Yeah. They bought it for... Somebody bought it for $22.50. Not us. Yeah. I don't even remember where we got this. I think it was with one of the fonts and any buys. Well, it had to be, but I don't remember. Huh. Yeah. I didn't even know it was over there. Next um, next order has a few, four items on it. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and get all those pulled. Um, the first thing is in the dog box, dog K. So we need to get that down. Okay, we went ahead. We went ahead and pulled this um, dog dress out of a box and put the box back up. Yeah, it's a little granny. I call it a little granny nightgown. I think it's supposed to be just a dress. Uh, Daisy has one. <laughs> she actually wore it a few days ago when it got cold. Daisy's a schnauzer, by the yeah. way. <laughs> um, and then a Walmart pen on two sixty nine. Walmart pen. There's two Walmart pens actually. Two sixty nine and one oh one. Okay. Tell you what, I'm probably gonna stop running the camera, since, especially since we're doing two. One ninety one. Um, and two sixty nine. 
nine. Oh, okay. All right, I got the wrong ones. That's okay. I'm gonna set y'all down and turn y'all off. I'll be right back. Okay, we got these pulled. So, 101 is Walmart. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay. Number store number 144. Yep. And then 269 is a check mark, our savings. Yeah, check out our sa check our savings. And then in the Digimon drawer, they've also bought some Mr. Christmas replacement parts. It's a camel and a wise man. Um, the wise man is wearing like a red robe, I think. This is it's like a camel right there. Oh. That's it. And that sold for $14.99. Okay. So all this stuff on one order. Yep. Alrighty, what's next? Uh, Claudia Wolf for ten dollars. Um, four Echo. I don't know if we actually. I think we moved them on top of six A. I think they're in that white box up there now. On six A. Not six. Um, three A. The cookbook shelf. The other, the other bookshelf. No, I think we do have some on four Echo. Oh, do we? Yeah, I think. Well, we used to. Maybe we don't now. Yeah, we have some over here. Actually, there's a bunch over there. Yeah, we have 15 of those. That's the only ones we have left. And we have after this one, we have 15 left. Um, so that one sold for $10. Yeah. This is one of the originals, too, because, look, it has the letter on it. Back when you were doing, like, a picture for each I one. I actually took a picture of that one. That might be the one in the photo. I think it probably is. Thing. Yeah. Um, let's see. The next item is going to be in the Beverly drawer. Okay. Cassette head cleaner. Realistic. Let's see. Man, I'm I'm going I'm having like inventory blindness. I open it up and I'm like, what? All right. Eight ninety nine for that. Okay. Mu eight, which isn't that the Beverly? No. No, it's right here. Um, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt World Class Track Meet. Supposed to be in a case, probably. Yes. Okay, cool. This is it. Eight ninety nine for that. Okay. Six Bravo Black Binder. It's a Batman poster. Okay. Hof poster. Hopefully it's going to be in here. It says uh, just 6B Black Poster. I don't have an identifier. You don't have any other location information? Nope. This says Batman something? It's Batman Quinn is in the title. Okay, we're going to have to figure out. All right. Let's see. Let me see what it looks like. I mean, I have posters here, but I don't, I don't say anything. Uh, it's got like a, it's got a bunch of the bad guys locked up in jail. I'm trying to read what this says. Batman. Adventures, maybe? I have no idea. I wrote that. <laughs> All right, hang on. We're going to pull some of these out, I guess, and figure out what which one we're supposed to get. I Candace think I think it's it. this one. Yeah, this looks like it. It's all the, um... It's all the Batman bad guys in jail and like Catwoman's hanging upside down. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Pretty I'll, cool poster. It actually is. Like she's got like a, a tablet or something. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah, they, I think these are, I think all those posters are kind of cool. Yep. That's why I went ahead and listed them. So okay. that one sold for um, not $12, much. $12.99. Okay. All right, yeah. take that. Yeah, there's been like a not much interest in those. And then on one Delta um, Super Mar uh, Nintendo Mario Kart sheet sets. One Delta. Ah, right here. We just got these in a... Uh, that buy last week. Yep. $29.99 for those. Okay. This is the... The buy two weeks. Was it two weeks ago? This is part of the buy you got for like $25 for everything, right? Or... I thought it was in the, the second buy. I okay. Don't know. Anyway, right. it's in one of the buys we did just a couple of <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everything going out today. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, you know, decent sales day, I guess. That's definitely clearing all space on shelves, yep. making room for more of this junk over here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get to packing. Okay. We got all those packed. And, um, yeah, while I was packing those, we sold three more things. One of them was a really good order. Uh, all orders are good though. Don't get me wrong. Actually, the other, the last thing we sold was cool too. Yeah. I'm happy. Yep. Okay. First item is going to be another Claudine Wolf. Second one, and we haven't, we don't hardly sell them at all. Right. Actually, this is one that, um, 
this actually sold like five days ago. It sold Christmas Day. Yeah. And um and yeah, and she just paid. I I we didn't care. It it was it was fine. She, it was a slow pay thing, but like yeah. we have so many of those, what did it matter? She she messaged and apologized and said, Don't sweat it, we have a lot of them, just whenever you can, you know. Yeah. We have it for you. And so she paid. Yep, so, so uh ten ninety nine for that. Um, hey, Charlie, Mike the Tiger LSU statue for yes. 2007 National Championship. Yes, I was I was thrilled to sell this because like I I kind of figured like stuff like that that didn't sell prior Christmas, yeah. prior to Christmas is gonna be hard to sell. Nope, sold it. Yeah, this one sold for ninety. Where is it? It is on nine Charlie. Okay, did you eight, say that? Eight Charlie. Eight Charlie. Did you say that already? I did. Okay, a lot of times I don't listen this guy right here actually we've sold this exact same thing before yeah we had one and found another one yeah this is 2007 national champions so this was the um was that less miles that's the less miles championship and he's standing behind the nick saban champion he's holding mm -hmm. The Les Miles trophy, and he's standing behind the uh, Nick Saban trophy yep. from 2003. Yeah. <laughs> and then we sold the other Coleman light bulb. A yeah. Cube. Yeah, I was happy with that, man. For $13.49. Th those are good little sales because you only. And they sold quick. Yeah. Like we've only had these a couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, I, I know it's not a huge dollar amount, but we only paid like a buck a piece for these things, man. Right, That's awesome. Right. Fast sellers. Okay, I'm going to get these guys packed. Okay, packages just got picked up and we had lunch and we talked and we are not from now until New Year's Day we are not gonna sweat listing or we're not gonna sweat sales I'm not saying we're not gonna list anything because I think we will yeah we are gonna work I think pretty much every day to yeah but, but we're not we're gonna be we're gonna remain on uh i don't know there's some housekeeping we need to do yeah uh, yeah not just we're, we're about to start an inventory that's one of them but there's some other things and you'll we'll, we'll explain that later but um yeah for now today we're going to start our inventory and and we're going to start with all of our dog boxes because we've combined boxes those are things that are cross-listed and do sell on multiple platforms so we think it's um, it's a danger area it's crucial that we make sure our inventories are correct for those um, yeah so we're gonna start there and then um we're gonna just do that today and then we'll explain later to y'all how we're gonna do the rest yep um yeah the inventory is pretty actually it seems daunting but it's when we actually do it, it's way, it, I always feel like, oh, well, that was easier than I expected. Yeah. Just because of the way you can search the custom SKU. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but we might, sh we'll show you a little bit of that later. Yeah, it's going to be confusing for this dog stuff, but whenever we do like a shelf. Right. Um, we'll show you guys our process. But we are going to go ahead and pull all the dog boxes down. Yeah. And uh, inventory the contents of each one. And in some cases, we're... We may be able to combine some more boxes together because as you can see we have one box there uh we have those are closed boxes dog 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 uh not dog dog i don't know <laughs> i think that might be some dog stuff over that there is, too but that's um th those bags are all the same style that we had a lot of so mm -hmm. they just kind of got their own little bags over there so yeah we're gonna pull down the dog boxes and inventory those and i guess we'll inventory those bags too so. yeah and while we're you know what actually i think we're just gonna inventory everything on top the middle the yeah why not it's not that much more after the uh, no. dog stuff so We'll go ahead and take care of all the top. And we could probably also, um, we're, we're going to be able to combine some stuff. Yeah, so, I think so. All right, cool. We're going to get started and we'll check in with y'all in just a little bit. Okay, that's all the dog boxes down. Now there is other dog items around the shed, but a this few. is the bulk of it. Yeah, we have a few, probably there's, less than there's 20. There's like collars um, stuck in drawers and stuff. Right. And maybe some smaller t-shirts and um coats yeah, yeah. and uh the bulk of it i had a question on the last video or recent video um asking where we got the dog stuff 
and I did, I responded with a link to that video where we showed all the dog stuff right after we bought it. We bought 558 pieces of dog items. Mostly clothing. Mostly clothing. There were some collars, harnesses, yep. costumes, jackets, t-shirts, dresses. Yep. Um, you name it, we had it. Yeah, we had a lot. Even, we still... even some cat and small animal, small pet. Right, hamster stuff, yeah. you know, all, gerbils, whatever. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> but, but uh, or, you know, guinea pigs. Yeah. That's the ones I'm thinking of. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's this is pretty much what we have left. We started with 558 pieces. We paid a dollar a piece for it at the garage sale. And uh, that's where we got that stuff. And I... I always forget, I always have to remind myself that we do get a lot of new viewers every month. And a lot of times we're talking about buys, like the Nutcracker buy. How how many months ago was that, do you think? That was like in March, I want to say. I think it was like seven months ago. Yeah. And you know how many new new viewers we have in the past seven months? Yeah. And so we show the Nutcrackers, we talk about it, but we can't, what are we... It, there's no context for them. No, it's there's not. Yeah. There's not. But what are we gonna do? Like I, I, I understand that there's no context, but then I also don't want to rehash everything every time we talk. Right. That would be like unbearable. Right. For us and for a lot of the viewers. That yeah, I know where you got that, dude. I've been watching for six, seven years or whatever. Yeah. You know. So I don't know how to. I don't really know how to handle that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and crack these open and get to work. All right, give you all a quick peek at our inventory process. We're working on this box now. We already did that box. It's open in the middle of the, sh the uh, thing. So if you want to come look real quick, what I do is um, we, we label everything with our custom SKU, which is in this field here. And I do custom label SKU contains Dog J. That's this box. So it pulls up all of our Dog J items. And um, something we discovered before and we haven't implemented and we should, like when we put a single digit like three, we should put zero three. Because whenever you get to 10, it pulls it back down here under the one. So they're not right. in numerical order. Anyway, we just have to keep that in mind when we're checking. So then um, we've been going through one at a time, checking the inventory. Yep. And we are up to number nine now. Okay. It's a, a medium orange corduroy dress, quantity one. That look right? Yeah. Okay. Number 10 is going to be the same dress, size large, quantity one. Okay. And then that's it that I have for the dog J's. Now we have an extra package <laughs> in there. We don't know if it's... <laughs> you know what? It might, maybe it was a canceled order or something like that. Been. So, so that's we... a granny dress. I'm going to search that. What size is it? That is a medium. Okay. So I'm going to go and change to title contains granny dog i'm gonna do that see what happens all right we don't have that it was probably a canceled order that we didn't put back in the inventory we have a large in the dog k box but we have none for that so i'm gonna pull that's that. distressed inventory yes yeah. distressed distressed <laughs> so we're gonna pull that aside and or i can go ahead and relist it now but i'm probably gonna just make a pile to relist i think you should yeah yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna make a pile over here in my chair, and then whatever's left over that needs to be relisted, well, I'll do that when we're done. Okay. So this box is complete. Yeah. Okay. This is, believe it or not, this is all one box. Yeah. This box is packed. Yeah. It's, we're on our last this box. Is the last box. That's all the other ones there. We have combined one time so far. This is the final boss. Final boss box here. <laughs> but look, check this out. I'm, I was. Well, he pulls his dress out and goes, hey, uh, I said, man, oh man, that's some of that frou frou looking stupid stuff. It can't. And I, I, no, then he goes, Daisy looks ridiculous when she wears that. And I'm like, oh, look. And I wasn't, I didn't know this, but Candace used Daisy as a model for this style. Look. Look at Daisy. That's one that she kept. Look at, look at her looking over her shoulder She's at us. She's posing for us. That's, that's uh, look Sarah. At Daisy. That's Sarah Schnauzer there. <laughs> she, come on. I love that pose. <laughs> she does look a little ridiculous. Let me yeah. see another picture again. <laughs> Old Daisy dog. She's look like her. a bobblehead in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> look, I even put the backdrop, the photography backdrop. I know. It looks good. It looks really good. <laughs> okay, back to work. Okay, we are done with uh, all the dog boxes. Look at you posing. <laughs> um yeah we're done with all the dog boxes we found a few errors we found um 
one bag that had two granny gowns in it was not listed at all. Um, we found one thing where we had two bags, a size la extra large and 2XL, and the items inside were in the wrong bag, like they were swapped. Yep. And then we, uh, we had one that was a wrong quantity. We had quantity of one in the system, and there was actually two in the bags. So we found three errors just in this little bit of inventory. That's not a little bit though. That's probably like it is. 200 items. Right, but compared to the rest of our store. It right. Is, yeah, sorry. Th this is the most, this is the stuff that's easiest to make mistake on. Yes. Very, because it's all like yeah. the same almost, right. or it to was, me. It was monotonous when I was listing it. It got, or got to be, so yeah. Yeah, but we probably saved ourselves. uh, four issues yeah a few a few things of grief there yep. uh two uh, probably like two things uh really the only one that the really one that wasn't listed that wouldn't have been an issue no. it just never would have sold right That's and a... the one that was a quantity wouldn't have been an no. issue because we just wouldn't have sold we have the more quantity yeah. yeah but and then the one where they were swapped that wasn't really it would have been an issue but it could have been if we weren't careful we when we pulled assumed we just put the wrong size instead of searching yeah. Right. We that's the one that could have screwed us. Yeah. Bad. That could have been bad. Yeah. So yeah. Uh we're it, gonna continue with the top shelving. Uh we have human clothing up there too. And that's um, gonna be easy though, because and like the, the comic boxes here. We're just gonna check our numbers. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. And then we have a few other things over here. Yeah. So we're gonna keep just keep on uh yeah. keep on doing that. The the dog stuff took us an hour, but that's that's just way different than it was a lot because of us combining boxes some boxes might have had like two or three number two locations in it right okay, so the, the other stuff we do is not going to be near as hard i think we'll be done with this top shelf in about 30 minutes oh yeah easy yeah. um the i, I don't know if y'all those of y'all that have been watching a long time i bought thousands of pieces of cosmetics a few years back when we did the inventory on that whenever i came in the shed he had not ever inventoried it right this was three has it been three years yeah this is you're you're, you're about to hit you're about to finish your third year right i already did i i quit the bank before christmas okay so you <laughs> you've been here three years now yeah okay so anyway probably um the beginning of that the next year after i joined um we decided we did inventory the makeup and it was a mess I'm talking big mess. Um, so I went in and straightened everything out to make it easier. Like he had a box of like lipsticks and they were just thrown in there. Just uh, I, I, you're exaggerating a tad. <laughs> they weren't thrown. Well, I mean, they weren't like if I had four reds and three pinks, you didn't have them like bundled together or anything. So when you had to pull, you had to go and search through all of them. It was a mess. I, I didn't do bad for, for what it was. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. And we did find a lot of stuff missing. Okay, golly. It was wasn't supposed to be <laughs> trash Lonnie time. Well, you were by yourself at the time, so I understand, you know. Yeah, yeah. So right. Yeah, this um uh, this took about an hour. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought though. No, so. not not with two people. No. Man, it and that's why like when he was by himself, I see why he never did inventory because that probably would have taken three times longer with one. Oh person. man. It, not to mention when you're just one person what, running back and forth to the monitor yeah and when you're just one person i still had orders going out i still had videos to make i still had stuff List. that need to be listed yeah. you know like i never felt like i could take a breath yeah. so for all you people that are running like uh, you know 2000 or uh, you know sizable Store, stores yeah. by yourself with a lot of uh with a lot of volume going out and coming in. Ooh. Ooh, I, respect. <laughs> it ain't easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. That is going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. And we will see y'all again very soon. We're going to go inventory some more stuff now. Bye, y'all. Bye.